you know, you can use that later to get yeah. two more players. I just napped for 30 minutes for mindfulness. <laughs> Here we have Heroic in your fresh new jerseys. Can we get a little bit of Tess's, huh? And take yeah, man. T take the jersey off. Take everything off. These look slick, man. You happy with them? Yeah, better than the old one. Better than the old one. Yeah, better material. Not as sweaty. I think it's. Uh, I think it's quite comfortable. Yeah. All right. Where's Where's Nikodos? He's uh, He's coming soon. Maybe he's a little bit late. Ah, oh, a little bit delayed. Okay, we had a a couple of teams had to deal with that. <laughs> All right. So how are you feeling coming into China? When was the last time you were here? Were you ever in China? I have never been in China, so uh, very excited to travel here and try a lot of new stuff and see how it is here. I think that's pretty exciting for me at least. So, but yeah, of course, we're here for the tournament for, uh, first and all, uh, so focus on, focusing on that. Well, you don't look nearly as excited as this guy over here. <laughs> hey, nerds. Hello, hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing amazing. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the major. I'm sorry. Uh, what kind of happened there? You guys were doing so well, and then after that complexity game, things really changed. Uh, so, can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I will start with me. I, I just played really bad. Uh, I didn't feel any comfort zone during the tournament. And I would say um, it could be a game changer if I would play good. But uh, as a team, I think like we learned a lot. Like we we didn't communicate the best but i would say for the next tournament like we learn a lot from this tournament so what's the mood like because you guys were playing well and you were on the way up right but you were still a relatively new team not much experience as this lineup so what was sort of the the talk after the major um uh, like the topic at least it was just enjoy the game i think like in the major we we were having fun we just didn't hit our shots, at least me. Uh, but I know for a fact, like, we gonna be, I'm telling you, like top five in the world until, uh, remember my words, until the end of the season. I believe you, man. I believe you. Thank All right, good talking to you. Um, ciao, brother. Ciao, brother. Uh, we're not gonna do this to all the people in the back. I wanted to ask you a little bit about this tournament. Um, you guys are going up against Liquid first. They haven't played in a while. So as an in-game leader, you know, how does that change your approach when it comes to maybe preparation and all that stuff? Yeah, it's going to be a bit harder than usual to prepare because obviously they haven't played for like a month or something. But still, at the end of the day, we will still try to play our game and focus on our things because we know that if we do that, we can beat anyone. How much focus do you need to put on sleeping, timing stuff properly, you know, when you go to a, oh, well, not to overseas, but, you know, uh, different time zones and all of that stuff. How big of a focus is that compared to, you know, when you just go to a tournament in Europe? I think it's a big focus for us even when we are in Europe. So we pay a lot of attention to the sleeping, to the food we're eating, to all of the routines that we have. But now that we are a bit more far away uh, from home, it's even more important, I would say. So. It's a bit hard this first day because of jet lag and all of that stuff, but uh, we are trying to fix it. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Let's keep it moving. Nico, why were you late? <laughs> Waiting for the elevator. Good old in the hotels, you know. All right. How are you feeling coming in this tournament? Pretty good, honestly. First time in China, I'm pretty excited, you know. Yeah, that's a, a case for a lot of people. What, what are you looking forward to? besides the tournament? We know tournament is the main focus, but are you looking to experience uh, something while you're here? I mean, I know there's a lot of really nice fans that I like to meet and also really good food, you know, I'm really excited for the food, going out maybe if I have time, you know, stuff like that. Liquid in the first game, have you given it any thought uh, about that particular match? Not too much, because we have prep later, you know, so later I'm going to focus more on that, but for now I'm just trying to feel the environment, you know, getting used to the time zone, stuff like that, and then I'll focus more on the game later. And what would be for you personally, you know, what's your sort of goal for this tournament uh, for your team? I mean, I think we would like to make playoffs at least and just see how far we can go, you know. I think we can go all the way if we play our top level, so let's see how it goes. All right, man. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. That was Team Heroic. So um, we've got contrasting hairdos here. Uh, what prompted the shaving of the head? I'm getting old. Gray hair. Don't want to look at my gray hair. Is that really it? Yes. I'm going to be honest with you, mate. 
I would love if my beard was like salt and pepper in my hair. You look distinguished. Maybe I'll change my mind after this, after your opinion. I think that is something you could should consider. My opinion. Yeah, I agree. I think it fits him. I told him. I think it looks good. So okay, well, I think like a little bit of you know white or gray hair actually looks really cool. I bet, look, look, if we're talking, I let people at home. I reckon they think it looks cool as well. So I think you know, grow it back out, go the full brokey, get 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 it all happening. Why don't you dye it white? Go all white. That's uh, one of my ideas I had. Maybe I'll do it. Yeah. Uh, I think the shaved head looks good as well. Uh, no, I shaved my head for my hair transplant, so it was a little bit different. Uh, you went to Turkey? No, no, no. I stayed in Malta. That was... Uh, no. Close. No, I stayed in Malta. Uh, I got it done there, but look, we don't need to talk about that. Uh, huh? I can uh, donate some if you need. Yes, please. Uh, look, uh, you guys are here. You're back at another tournament, another tournament in China. Uh, last time you were in China, it went well for you guys. Yep. Yeah, not for you. Yep, that's correct. Yeah. Are you liking it here in Chengdu? I think it's Chengdu. If it's Chengdu, Chengdu, uh, it looks good. I think there's a lot of green outside. I mean, it's uh, it's looking good. I think I like it more than Shanghai just because of the green, uh, more green stuff outside. There's, there's just something missing. There's no sun. Uh, yeah. I'm just no sun. Where's the sun? I think tomorrow the weather gets a little bit nicer. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent on that. Now, uh, when I'm casting, I'm going to try and get this line in a lot because we're at Chengdu. But if someone makes a bad play. Oh, actually, that wouldn't work. But Cheng do and Cheng don't. You guys have any lines that I should try and get in for casting? Uh, anything that you think? Any inspiration? Like anything when you're playing a big moment from Brokey, a big moment from Frozen? What should I get in there? I don't know. You never thought? You've never gone, shit, I wish he cast at that moment like this? Maybe once in my life I had something like, what if he said this? Mm. But I cannot find anything to Cheng do. I have an idea for him. Yeah? Forsen went crazy. Frozen went crazy? No, Forsen. Fours and went crazy. Okay, all right, we're in the memes. All right, fair enough. I, we, I, we can do that. We can get that for you. You got anything for him? No, but actually, when talk, I had that was my nickname when, once I first came out with this. I had it fours and first, four zen, like the streamer, no, like the streamer, four zen, oh, and okay. four zen, and okay. I, had, but I had no clue there was a streamer like that actually. Okay, I think uh, maybe like three years I was into competitive CS. I found out people are writing fours and like, who the f who the fuck is that guy? You know, and uh, yeah, apparently he's a big streamer. Okay, all right. Uh, how much do you guys like Vertigo these days? It's our favorite map. It's a per, it's a perma pick now. Although, is it coming into this event? Let's be honest for a second. There's no way you guys practiced before you came here, right? <laughs> I mean, we did. Of course we did. What do you mean? There's no way. Okay, the major finished. Yeah. You flew home on Monday. Yeah. You would have gone fuck our lives on Tuesday. Yeah. Wednesday you would have done some laundry. Thursday you packed your bag again, and Friday you flew. There's no t no way you practice, Brokey. Be honest. Yeah, we played on Wednesday four maps. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Really? I'm telling you, we practiced. I did laundry uh, Tuesday already. I don't know if I'm being trolled right now. No. You practiced. Yes, hundred percent. Oh God. How? How? How did you mentally bring yourself to do it? Well, you have. I mean, uh, you don't have to, but kind of have to. You know. I mean, you want to stay in shape. You don't want to have five days no playing. Look at the smile on his face. Yeah, but we, he's smiling. <laughs> but we were playing. I mean, you have to practice for the next major. <laughs> okay so you pl you actually played i still don't know if i believe it we're well, coming in here and i guess at the moment the intel grand slam sign that's open you want to get into another final i'm sure you'd love to win a final so like you look at your group you look at your opening game are you you're worried in the best of one against namiga no i mean it's a bo one I mean, well, of course anything can happen but i'm not worried okay and then uh you probably play astralis in the second game have you practiced them much? What do you think about Astralis? Uh, we played them on Vertigo on practice before Spirit game and they fucked us, so we don't play Vertigo against them. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so no Vertigo against Astralis. Uh, who else do you think is going to be a threat at this event? No Spirit, no Vitality, no Na'Vi? Probably Mouse, no, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they I seem to so suck on stage matches, though. Monta, maybe. They don't even have five. Yeah, that's a joke. <laughs> 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 okay. But it's the old Tai Lu boys coming in uh, instead of them. It's the old Tai Lu. Is it's oh, like, like somebody in Captain Mo, DD, uh, Attacker, all these guys. Is this official? Yeah, they're already here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't. I don't know if it's. A, I don't know if I'm being trolled here or not. Oh, okay. So you, all right. I thought you were more uh, involved in Hegel, Hegel TV than I am. I've been working, man. I've been working too. But I just observe. I have people getting me information. You know. I don't have a manager like you. I do have a manager, but it wasn't coming from him. Yeah. All right. Well, all right, all right. Um, how's, did you have any ice cream for breakfast? No, but I really wanted to. I, I, no. 
got to stay fit and I'm sick as well. I've been seeing you in the gym. Yeah, I've been gymming a bit, but I'm now I'm sick after major. So. Ah, uh, okay. I noticed, you know what I noticed? Your brother looks like you. Who would have thought? Yep. Uh, we look the same. Uh, almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, who would have thought? Uh, all right, what else do we want to talk about? You got anything interesting for me? You got any? You're sick. That's not good. School sucks. It's child size. Yeah, but it's also tilted. Everything is going into one hole. You see that? You see that? Why, why do you think they're all I do. One? I do see that. Yeah, okay. So that's the news you got for me. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I found out about Chengdu so far. Okay. There's good Japanese barbecue across the road in the mall, if you're interested. In the mall right here? Yeah. Noting down. What about the fan yeah. situation? I've heard the fan situation is quite hectic. Uh, things are going to be crazier at the Shanghai, to be honest. Yeah. I mean... It's crazier than Shanghai? No, it's going to be crazier at the Shanghai. Uh, I mean, it was already crazy, like, last year at the Shanghai, no? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think day by day, they're going to get more and more here, and, you know, they send where we are staying, and then... More and more fans are gonna spawn, and it's like. Gonna spawn. Yeah. <laughs> I heard I was still gonna twist on the plane. We we're sitting next to each other. He said last time we were here. Uh, well, I wasn't here. Last time you were here, he said uh, you were pretty incognito. You were able to keep away from the fans most of the time. I mean, if you don't leave the room, it's fine. Good advice for everybody. Can I find you in the practice room? You know. Yeah, that's true. All right, all right. I'll stop harassing you guys now. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope that you have a great media day. Hope you feel better and Thank good luck you. in the tournament. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. I think for you guys, we saw at the major as well. You know, like you have a high ceiling when things work. You play on a really high level, but sometimes you know your floor is low. Like things don't really work out for you. How do you get better at that? How do you fix that a little bit? Ah, uh, you know, we don't think about uh, community and talking about us, uh, about like uh, we don't have opera and something like this. Uh, and, and you know, you know, we got only one match on major, we fucked up, it's only quarterfinal. So, you know, on this tournament, we came with a mindset to win this tournament for me, uh, because I really like China and, you know, it's, I think, best time to win the first trophy. Yeah, but what, uh, let's talk about that quarterfinal a little bit, because, you know, the Inferno game, you're doing really good in gun rounds, in tough rounds, and in some of the rounds that are easier, things go wrong. Is that miscommunication? Like, what goes wrong in those rounds? Oh, I think in Inferno we have the great lead, let's say, three on T side, but still uh, the game uh, closed at 39 and they won two pistol rounds. So I think it was like 50 50 match, but pistol rounds uh, <laughs> did the work. So, and second map, I don't know. I, to <laughs> I talked to Axel a little bit. He played better. He said what he's trying to do is think less, right? Just play and not overthink. Is this something that uh, maybe some of the other players are doing as well? Yeah, you, you know, like every player trying to be better by day by day, like team and like individually. So that's why you, you, know, you should work a lot because it's new game and uh, new things to find every day. All right. And you're saying goal for this tournament is to win. You guys are feeling... Confident that you've improved a lot? Uh, we'll see after the first match, but of course, I want to feel confident on this tournament and go to the trophy. All right. Thank you, Bumich. Hey, buddy. Hello. How's it going? You have, to, you have to take the bullet for your players, you know, they're just being. No, keep, keep moving, keep moving. So, yeah. Um, how are you feeling coming into this tournament? I'm feeling tired a little bit. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. of 15 hours flight. Oh, yeah, I think it's it's tough. How do you I ask this already a lot of people? So how much bigger is the focus on that compared to the game, right? Just making sure that people get enough sleep, that they are in, in have good energy for the time when you have your game and all that stuff. So I, I think the biggest differences between such tournaments and tournaments in Europe, for example, uh, we don't have any opportunities to practice mm. because uh, we can't find uh, really good regional opponents. We even don't have the server, we don't have uh, FPL or something like that. So uh, in such tournament, it's very important to be focused on your individual game. So uh, every guy just have to know how to be better in such conditions because uh, we will stay here one week or 10 days and you still have to practice by your own. You don't have any team practices. All you can do, just discuss or watch demos, that's it. Is this something where you give the players maybe some homework and tell them, this is what I want you to do, like this is what I want you to do individually, or you just leave it to them, whatever they feel most comfortable oh. with? Uh, 
uh, we have uh, experienced guys and uh, everybody uh, knows how better for himself to prepare uh, and uh, just to keep his uh, level. All right, uh, going up against FlyQuest, right? A little bit unknown, I guess. They haven't played for a while, especially at, at this stage. Do you prefer playing a team like that that's supposed to be weaker on paper or would you rather play a better known team that's from Europe or, or, or something like that? Of course, usually uh, at best of one, it's easy to play versus team which you know already. Uh, in best of three, it, it, it doesn't matter. In best of one, yes. But uh, sometimes uh, we really want to play versus new regions, new strategies. I think uh, you guys maybe surprised some people with your level at the major and the fact that you made the, the quarterfinals seems like you have improved. So what would you say where you are as a team right now? How much more room is there for Cloud9 to improve? So I think uh, the results at major, it was deserved. Uh, we did a lot of stuff before major. Uh, at the moment, I think the result, our result at major, top five, top eight, it's our current situation, in my opinion. All right, thanks so much. That was Cloud9, very tired, but hopefully very well rested by tomorrow. Exile changed his mouse and settings and res and the graphics card, so he's going to be much better. And yeah, that was it. Thank you for, yeah, just thanks. Thank you everyone involved in this project. It's awesome. <laughs> Dust on the boss of VP, the big man on campus. You're in China, you ready to win? I think we can win. We need to start very well in group. Group meaning a lot, that's all. I saw the interview with James after the disconnect in uh, the major. He was very composed. But I feel like if I was him, I would have wanted to smash my keyboard. I think it's just every, it's some kind of things we can't control. Yeah? yeah, but even if you can't control, you can still be angry, right? Yes, but if he will angry, it will be a sad effect to Team. players, yes. Better to be calm. I, I think it's the best way to, we was in that situation, in, even in Rio, when the whole Another team was stopped when we replayed round in Bedboom Dutch. It was final fifth map, but it's. But I think after time it will be less of that of situations. Okay, let's say uh... yeah. it will be a lot of tournament. It's infinite. I see you five years ago. It infinite sees every tournament by tournament, and you don't need to complain. Just go further and develop more and be. Super team. It's a very stoic attitude. Yes. And we, even in Copenhagen, we can win, but we are still not a super team. We want to be super team. What did you think about Navi winning? I think in playoffs, every team can win. But interesting that Navi always beat G2. It's interesting to me. For me, is G2 is more stronger. We, with JKS, of course. But, but uh, it's interesting that Navi always winning them, but in final, I don't know. I in phase I also like roster with twist, and maybe it maybe a guy like twist can help in that kind of matches. But frozen also good. Said that it was one-sided third map, but Navi won. But I don't. Know. Let's forget. Look future. <laughs> okay. We in team speak watched and. Always you have some energy to beat all of them, so don't get the chances them next time. Cool. All right. Well, uh, you're here in China. How are you finding it? Do you like, uh, do you like Chengdu so far? Yes. Ch China is nice. Not, it's not European tournament. It's new energy. Every, everything, everyone is so many fans. It's different energy. And it's important, I think, to play in playoffs because it's one tournament in China per year in, from ESL. It's different energy. I think it's more uh, motivation to win here. Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else have we got to talk to you about? Well, Mir's been in the team for a while now. Mm -hmm. You know, How do you think he's developed in the team? Because he's an older player, right? You know, he's not a young player. Is he doing what you want? 
Sometimes yes, sometimes not. On it depends on map. Okay. But let's see. I I don't want to tell the lie that everything got nice. We develop good, but it's now t it's time to show for it's he need to show himself it's half year already it's only tier one events now and results will show okay uh and like adapting to cs2 how have you found that do you do you like cs2 i think cs2 is nice but it's become easier to players to hit shots i mean the kerrigan top fragging major top fragging and now fragging become easier you just swing and but i think by time uh, cs2 will be more closer to csgo it's just first year maybe of cs2 and it will be different in four or five years okay cool well thank you for your time dustin i uh, look forward to watching the tournament thank you we'll watch behind cameras i will tell all truth <laughs> thanks man thank you thank you good luck Okay, here we are with Tai Lu on their home turf. Kaze, how are you feeling, man? I'm feeling great. Tell me a little bit, I have to ask you this whole six-man roster thing, right? We had it a couple of years back, different teams tried that. Valve changed some rules around. People aren't doing it anymore, but Tai Lu is bringing it back. How did that whole thing happen? Um, I guess it's just... We're trying out some academy players, so trying to give them a chance to try at the, for the main stage, I would say. Uh -huh. So giving young bloods a chance to play. So the plan is to maybe from match to match give a different player a chance? Yeah, I would say so. All right, that's interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, obviously, you guys were at different tier one tournaments, right? But uh, this is a big one for IEM back in China after five years. So is there any extra pressure for Tai Lu, you know, to perform? Um, I would say not much pressure because uh, we have, um, I would say not much. Uh, since I came back, uh, the practice will not much practice we have so a couple of few days practice so maybe we just try our best to play the match and we'll give all our best since we're in china does the you know daily routine look different for you do you have more media obligations and and things like that um sorry what? yeah do you have like more interviews or are you doing more content here that because you know tai lu and china and all of that or is it just same as business as usual. Mm, I would say same as usual. Yeah. All right. And in your first game, you're going to be going up against Maus, a pretty strong team, especially in the group stages. Um, so how are you feeling about, about that particular matchup? Mm, Maus, I would say, is a strong team indeed because uh, they have every strong individual players like Jim Fett and recently Brolin came in. I would say they were a tough team to beat. But I was, sh I was, we'll make a close fight indeed, I would say. And tell me, uh, lastly, who should we keep an eye on out of the new guys? You know, who could surprise us from the new Tyloo lineup? Um, I guess this new guy, I would, I would say, he's really good in the game. All right, there you go. Tyloo, back on home soil, getting it done. We're going to leave them to it, let them prepare, do their stuff, catch up on some sleep. Nico, will you, will you grace me? Thank you. I can't believe we've lost Ilya. But uh, look, mate, we got the man that matters. Uh, you're back. He matters now more. He's the best player in CS2. You official? Official, yes. Okay, that's actually high praise. But I think the way he played at the Major, definitely so. He's great with the AK. He's awesome on the AWP, of course. And he's gotten a big ego now, doesn't he? Yeah, now he has everything he needs and uh, I'm happy he's showing now. I think this is the best he has played so far and I really hope that he'll continue. Okay, well, we've lost the rest of the team, so I guess you do actually just have to talk to me now. Now, look, back-to-back uh, -back events, straight in from the Major. You're in the playoffs. You could have been in the Grand Final. I don't want to talk about the veto shit. I don't give a fuck about the veto. Yeah, Someone... yeah, I'm going to delete it. Don't worry about it. Wait, we talked on the podcast. I think you spoke about the veto for 40 minutes. <laughs> no, I checked it out. Uh, look, I was sitting there going, yeah, but it was a weakness. Then Navi's ancient. It sucks. Like I could, you know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 
now you go, you're going straight into another event. Did you even have time to practice before coming here? No, we had uh, two days off. Then we had one day where we rewatched the, the games we played in playoffs. Then we just played one day regularly to you know just stay in shape. So uh, not too much time uh, of practice, but uh, I think we did a good uh, development throughout the major. I think uh, we feel ready for this event. I was saying this about some of the other teams, and I don't know if you feel this way about your team, but you prep a playbook for the major, and you go pretty deep in the major, but you still would have had a lot more like rounds and strats for other maps that you wouldn't have used yet. So do you still come in anyway without the practice feeling quite ready? Yeah, I, for sure. As I said, I think we made just a big development uh, throughout the whole major. I think we struggled from the start, but I think as the major was going further, we started to play better. Uh, obviously, we had also two weeks boot camp prior to the major, and we have added a lot of things and as you said, there is definitely things that we haven't shown, but obviously, like mostly you have shown, but when you play certain opponents, you still add small things for the opponents to anti strat them a bit. So, uh, yeah, but it's not uh, much down to the, the strats and tags that you have. It's mostly to just individuals. And I think that's what we have liked the most at the major. I think if we step up individually, we are going to go even deeper for this one. Okay, now uh, something that's a little bit less focused about the game, but more about where we are. Uh, you're kind of a huge deal in China, do you know that? Me or G2? You? Me? I mean, uh, it's it's great coming here. I see fans uh, coming all the time and uh, it's nice. I don't know how big I am. Obviously, I don't really follow the Chinese social media, so I think it's hard to keep track of it, but uh, it's uh, it's been a nice uh, welcoming so far. Yeah, I think uh, the, like the fans at the front of the hotel. I was hearing from like past events like CAC, the fans were like in at breakfast, like uh, surrounding people, signing mouse pads and everything like that. It feels like it can be a bit overwhelming, but this type of fanfare, I don't know, we don't really get it anywhere else in the world. It seems a bit unique to China. No, definitely. This is a unique experience. It's, uh, it's special, very special, and uh, it's also different. So, uh, yeah, as you mentioned, the breakfast, the first thing I walked in the morning to the breakfast, there's a guy waiting to get a signature or photo, which is, uh, yeah, it can be overwhelming, but it's also it's super nice. Uh, you get a good, like, good feeling that, uh, like, they live to see you, literally, and that's, that's just super nice. So I really hope you're going to get to play on the stage in front of them and uh, show some uh, good, good CS. Okay, and you on that, do you guys come in here with the you know, plan, this is an event for us to win? 100%. Beautiful. All right, thank you very much, Nico. Have a nice day. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Cheers, man. Hi, um, Hooksy. Hi. Hi. Um, no, it is only good. So anyway, we want to get stuck into the veto. No, we're not going to talk about the veto because yeah, I don't, I don't care. Talking. I don't care about the veto. You've talked enough about veto. You've been done like eighteen podcasts since. I don't talk. I don't care about that. I can understand why you picked ancient. I don't care, man. You talk to argue with Yanko, not me. Yeah, I don't understand why you picked ancient. Still as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, we're talking about chart. Do you have to go? Are you leaving? No, I'm waiting for someone. I don't know who I'm waiting for, but someone. Okay. Well, look. Uh, I was just saying, Nico is kind of a big deal here in China, but you are as well. Nah. It's not that bad. What do you mean? Yeah. Where is it? Were you I heard for, for the other guys, there was like 150 people waiting in the lobby. And for me, there was only like 40, 50. So. Only 40, 50? Yeah. So I'm not that big of a deal. Yeah, but you're an in-game leader. No one really cares about in-game leaders, right? Yeah. That's just life, you know. <laughs> uh, have you ever considered moving location? Location? Look, mate, you lose your suitcase every trip. Yeah. But you know, it's also on the way home. And I don't, I don't know what, like, what goes wrong. Is it your airport sucks? No, I love my airport. I don't need to go there. Well, how do they keep losing your suitcase? Nah, I think it's not their fault. It's somewhere in between. Well, I can tell you there's one common denominator and it's your airport. Well, I can tell you that it was in Beijing it got lost. That's not my fault. That's not my airport's fault. So, okay. you know. I'll let you off the hook for that one there. All right, I was just talking to Nico saying coming into this tournament, uh, you guys obviously haven't had any time to have any practice, but you've still got the playbook from the major. Mm. I would say that you're still one of the favorites of this event. Are you going in? You you playing to win? Yeah, of course. We always play to win. Uh, we had one day of practice, so uh, <laughs> I don't know if we could change anything big in that. But uh, yeah, I can't believe you practiced. Like what? Must have been Wednesday. Um, well, the day before we left. So yeah, I don't know. It's really hard to like uh, keep track of the days. But uh, I've spent half a day on watching the games from the major, and then uh, one day on practicing. And uh, I was traveling with Rain from Face. He said they also practiced one day. So we're not the only ones. I guess everyone's in a very similar boat, right? Uh, and especially the teams in the playoffs of the major. There's the whole major come down, but the circuit doesn't stop. Is that something that you like uh, looking forward to changing later in the year with Shanghai being the major just before the play break and everything ramping into it? 
Um, yeah, I definitely like the major is like the last tournament before the player break because after over a month of just pure grind, like I had one off day in over a month, I'm so tired. So it was nice to get some days off, but uh, definitely I'm still a bit struck by the whole major thing. We still got what they still have this, then we have Pro League, and then we've got you know London and Dallas and everything. So there's still a lot of tournaments to play uh, for the rest of the year. So, look, do you have any messages that you want to leave the fans with? Uh, how much ancient can we see this event? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> probably nothing. <laughs> no, but uh, thanks a lot for the support, and uh, I hope that we can do better than we did at the major. Damn, that means you have to get to the final at least. All right, good luck. Thank you. X Greyhound, X Jeeves, now Fly Quest. I believe there should be a little, uh, a little Dexter, Dexter, Dexter. Hello? Okay, you you should not be jet lagged. You should be fine, no? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. So, how are you guys doing? It's, I mean, when it comes to your team, you usually play like in the what Asian RMRs. Usually, you get to play against these teams that uh, came here, or quite, even like in China. Overall, what's the impression of the whole country? Um, I really like Chengdu as a city. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite cities in China so far. Wait, how many times have you been here? This is my first time. Like in 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 Chengdu? Yeah, it's the first time. Yeah. But so far, like you would say, it's the best one. Yeah. Is it because it's like the greenest one? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, the vibes good. People are nice, and uh, yeah, enjoying it. I'm feeling good. All right. How about you? How do you feel? Um. Yeah, it's pretty good. Chengdu is nice. It's a good country. How many times have you been into China? Just twice. Once in Chengdu. Only once in Chengdu. Oh, so like you're already pretty much the local. Like you actually know like where to take the guys. No, we all went together like two weeks ago or something for the Arma and that was it. But did you have like any problems? Maybe like, you know, buying things, ordering things? The cards don't work. Most of our cards don't work. So we have to use cash or, or Alipay. Yeah. So Chris knows and he just pays for everything for us. He's a good dad. I thought like, you left Australia like, to not be a dad. Now you go back and you're a dad once again. Like, like now, not one kid, but like four? Yeah, basically, I'm just, I'm also taking photos of him and everything like that. I'm just so happy. Yeah. <laughs> you're just, like, you're just getting, like, get to, like, multitask, you know, leading the whole team, paying for the whole team, doing the content. <laughs> How about you? What is, what is that you do for the team? Uh, I think I do a good job at keeping the spirits high, uh, riling up the boys and, and hopefully opening for them. Yeah. And overall, how do you feel like preparing for the tournament? Preparing for the tournament? Well, we've been playing from Australia. Scrims haven't been the like, greatest to be able to book and, and practice against Oz teams. So hopefully we can uh, get some European practice in while we can over here. But other than that, we've focused on ourselves and I think we've worked on ourselves in the right direction. So we should be good. Would you say kind of like maybe like overall it's kind of refreshing that you you don't really get to fly away super far away you don't have that that huge jet lag? Yeah, it's nice being able to travel and not worry about like your sleeping pattern or going earlier. Like for us, we just come and then it's like three hours difference, so we don't have to worry too hard. It's good. And can that be like maybe like an advantage that you have like over like the European European teams? Um, yeah, if they've arrived around the same time as us, then definitely they'll feel the jet lag a little bit. Um, it's up to them how they prepared for it and if they at all switched their patterns beforehand, yeah. Because I feel like overall I don't have an impression that they try to switch anything. Yeah, uh, I think a lot of the time they're used to just going to European tournaments and then they probably would just carry the same mindset and preparation, I guess, into like these events. So I doubt they've like switched their patterns. I think it's pretty hard to do it as well. Definitely, definitely. How do you feel about your new org? Have they been taking a good care of you? Uh, yeah, they've been pretty amazing, but uh, I think we're going to get started way more in the next uh, couple of weeks, I think. Like, just, I don't know, we, it's only like literally the first week and we haven't really done anything too much. But then after this tournament, it really kicks off for us, move to Europe a little bit more, maybe play from there, see all the European players way more. So it'd be nice for us. Wait, so like you're saying that like, you might go to Europe, like to boot camp and all this stuff? Yeah, but for way longer periods of time, and yeah, just basically that's going to be our second home from yeah, from next week on. Yeah, it's actually pretty sad. Like, but you you like you don't fear that you might have at some point like a situation where like you know like American players that were kind of like missing home and all this stuff, or you just feel like it's what needed. Uh, if we want to improve um, 
the way we want to improve, like then that's what we've got to do. Um, and I think people are all pretty much on the same page. As long as we are getting our family time, I think everyone's going to be fine. I don't think we're going to be away for like three months in a row sort of thing. So we definitely have enough time to spend it with family, friends and all that. And then when it's time for business and, and practice and we go to Europe. Because you're going to avoid like a lot of things. You're going to avoid the jet lag every time you go to a tournament. You're going to get actually good practice because what's the state right now in Australia? Because probably besides you, there's maybe a half of a team. There's no actual organizations really in Australia right now. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty grim. There's, it's just us practicing two, three other teams on repeat and doing more like theory-sided stuff and yeah, focusing on ourselves rather than like trying to improve based off of our opponents, I guess, like you would be able to in Europe. Sounds good. Sounds good. Anything else you want to maybe tell to the fans or maybe about the city or anything about China? Yeah, fly quest, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, guys. Thank you very much. You know, guys, we got the MVPs, we got EVPs, but there's a new term for you guys. OPH. Do you know what it stands for? No. Only players here from ours. As in, like, you know, there's only three of you and there's five on the team. Yeah. That was that was pretty good. I worked all morning on this. Yeah. You know, but don't worry, I, I got you covered for that just like wait. Here you go. You can show this to the camera. So when you you know you can use that later to get yeah. two more players, okay. right? Because tomorrow is yeah. the game, so by then you can So when we go to the game, I give it this to my IGL. When we go to the studio tomorrow, he will put it in front of the monitor. There you go, man. It's, it's all going to work out. Don't worry about it. Thank, thanks for uh, helping us out. No worries, man. Even though you guys don't like me and didn't want to come out and do this, it's important to forgive. It's important to forgive. Don't hold grudges. Nothing like that. Hello, Brolin. Yo, yo, yo. How has your trip been over here? It's been good, actually. Pretty, pretty easy, yeah. Because you made it. That, yeah. That's the most important thing. Yeah, that's true. I try to handle the sleeping schedule a little bit now, but I feel tired, but it's fine. Um, you seem to have been enjoying your time on Mouse. It's been a couple of months now. Do you feel fully assimilated to the Mouse team? Yeah, full adapted. <laughs> yeah. Now, what is uh, just some uh, some things to work on, of course. But um, yeah, I'm trying to still adapt a little bit to the harder planes, of course. But feel more comfortable for our tournament. Who's the biggest troll on the team after Shue? Oh, after Shue. Uh, who's the biggest troll after Shue? Hard question. <laughs> I think it, uh, maybe Jimmy then. Yeah. Jimmy? Yeah. Maybe Jimmy or Dory. I think uh, me and Adam is maybe. Adam is troll as well, to be honest. But uh, I don't know. Is that the reason for all the good vibes on the team? You know, everyone's trolling each other all the time? Sometimes they are too much, but it's fine. All right. Let's keep it moving over here to my number one fan. Hey, Shure. Hey, Luda. Why does everyone think you're the biggest troll? I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> Should ask them again. Me neither, man. It's, it's so strange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, how's life? Good. We're out here in China. <laughs> All right. Um, this is going great. So, tell me a little bit about... You guys obviously have a really high floor. You play really good Counter-Strike, right? Last couple of tournaments, though, you get to the playoffs and things don't really go your way. What do you think the reason for that is? What do you mean by that? I mean, I mean you lose as soon as you get to the playoffs I mean, and on the stage. Like that, man. You choke. No, we just uh, don't win. All right, that's fair enough. How, how are you going to win next time? Maybe here. Um, first of all, we need the two more players. I, I, I sorted idea. this out for you. I, did you just, you just, you have it. You, you're going to be fine. The question is, who are they going to be? We don't know. I gave you the red car. So it's going to be, you know, red jersey. I thought this whole through, man. Yeah. I put, I put a lot of thought into this. No, I think, uh, I don't know. It's just going to be another experience for playoffs if we get there. So I think it's, uh, we're still a young team. So we're still a long way to go. And uh, playoffs are a very interesting thing in the sport. So I'm, uh, Happy to play them if we play them again. You feel like it's not necessarily really a Counter-Strike thing? 
more uh, mental thing? No, I think, I mean, in this team, we only actually had one real time to play in front of the crowd, if you put it that way, like which was Katowice. Um, obviously, the major, what happened there was a difficult situation, so I wouldn't really use that as a, as a way of saying that we cannot play, uh, perform in playoffs. Uh, so I think we only had one chance, and, uh, but uh, we're still a young team, like I said, and playoffs are something we'll get there. All right, man. Listen, at least from my side, I'm rooting for you. I hope you guys get it done. I think you play good CS. Despite all the hate coming from your side, you know, I'm, I'm just about spreading love. So good luck to you in this tournament, sure. Thank you, but the April Fools was a long time ago. Was it? <laughs> Isn't it just like a month thing? I know, that's, that's other stuff. All right. Thanks, guys. That's Maus. Hopefully they find two more players. If not, I'm, I'm ready to find you two players. <laughs> Please no. Please no. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, uh, I'm here with Astralis. Uh, Device, are we still are we still on good terms? I think so. I'm not not 100% good terms, but after I beat you on face it, it got better. Damn, I forgot about that. Um, see, I'm really upset about that. I don't know how Inferno was also part of the veto. Uh, normally, if we don't have Inferno in, I would have banned Nuke and we would have played something like Vertigo or Ancient or Anubis. So I'm blaming the veto. Yeah, it could, could be the veto, yeah, but I'm the in game leader now. So yeah, controlling the veto is important, right? Also in faces. Now, uh, going up against the Danish stack who are just going to not only push you, but push you with utility, it's quite difficult. Um, if we could have a rematch on one of my maps, uh, I'd be. I'll take an Ancient or Anubis. Ancient, Ancient, yeah. We can right. take Ancient for sure. All right. I need to get a better fifth though. Who was our fifth in that game? No, actually our fifth was all right. I'll blame the map completely. Yeah, That's all right. A complete Australian stack, right? Only four. We got me, Yam, Azza, and JKS. And then we had a Swedish playing, guy playing with us. Ah, okay, makes sense. Push but I'll get, guy. his name is Pex. That's true, that's true. Yeah. So that was a fun game. Uh, I forgot about that. I, I should have really been prepared for that. Look, um, so it's great that we're on good terms. How about, how about you and me? Are we on good terms? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now I'm going to jazz you guys up. I'm going to jazz you guys up. Here's, here's what I see. I see Device taking over the in-game leadership on the AWP. It reminds you of your times in Heroic. You and Yabby now ascend back to this crazy form because you have to help the in-game leader out more. You give him more information. You make him more plays. Stairs in the mix. His communication's high. Bro, he's joined the team. He's anchoring a bomb. It's like, da 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 people down. And Astralis win the event. Yeah, I mean, that sounds pretty good. How's practice gone? I mean, it's been going good. We've been having uh, like a lot of time to practice, you know, which is... Like, you don't usually get that, but since we didn't qualify for the major, you know, we had the time. So that's been nice. Do you think pressure is higher or lower now? Mm, I wouldn't say, like, we feel the pressure that much. But, I mean, obviously there's always pressure, you know. But I think we just have to, like, just go and show what we do in practice and it will be good. Okay, how's he going as an in-game leader? He's doing a great job. You know, I can feel like he's really determined for this role, you know, and there's something he wants to do for like the rest of his career, you know, so I think like he has a lot of experience, you know, and yeah, I think he can like when he gets like the, the official send, you know, he can like get even better at it. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going back over here now. We were just talking about this. Uh, I don't think you're playing Monty anymore. No, we're playing Steel Helmet. The old Tyler roster back in action. Yeah. It's an uh, average age of 31, so it's closer to me. Just like the face stack you played the other day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's good for me. So you just did all this preparation to play against Monty, who are a new roster as well, and now you're playing against a complete unknown team. Well, they're not unknown. That's a little bit harsh, but it, 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 things should be easier, right? I mean, also, Steel Helmet, from what I've seen, just like the last few hours when I looked at it, they also play a lot with stand-ins and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean... There's not that much information on them, but yeah, as Down said, we're going to do the things we've done in practice, try to get a, a little bit of an overview over the maps. And yeah, I think on paper, they're an easier opponent, but I think that we did a lot of work to like counter the jet lag and now we're facing a Chinese team. They are definitely not jet lagged. So, I mean, I, I, honestly, I think we're the favorites for sure. And I'm, I'm sure we're going to show that. Then that would mean you likely play FaZe in the next round. Is that an exciting prospect? Take them on in a best of three? Yeah, for sure. I think actually uh, they look pretty good down here. I think that losing the major final could be like bummed and like low on energy, but they look good. I'm excited to maybe face them. I think uh, 
they're always a fun team to play against and they have like really good individuals and have my first uh, what would I say like 1v1 against mm -hmm. Kerrigan in the mm -hmm. in-game leader role so that will be fun that will be fun okay uh, and on the fanfare in China uh, Tom Cruise obviously uh, how's the fans been you've been uh, been outside much it's hard to leave the front door yeah we played the tournament in Shanghai a few months ago and it was also really crazy they're camping everywhere also in the elevators now uh, it's, it's good they always shout like Atanga, which means Tom Cruise brother, I okay. think. So it's 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 good it's good banter. I think they're really like nice. You can say not right now and then come back later as well. They respect you a lot. So I think it's really nice and uh, great part about being here that the people support it. Otherwise, it would feel a little bit tame to go to a tournament where yeah, the country doesn't really support the the tournament. Yeah. Sure. Do you have many fans here? Have you? Is it, is there Stown fans? I mean, I think there is some, I hope at least. I think uh, at least like there's a lot of people, you know, who want the signature. But I think, I mean, I haven't, it's the first time for me here in China, actually. So that's pretty nice. How are you finding it? So far, so good. Ice cream at breakfast yet? No. Noodles, noodles though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I think uh, so far it's been a good experience. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fans. Maybe sometimes it can get a bit too much, to be honest, for me. But like, like in, in, in the elevator at the hotel and all, all like that. But yeah, it's, it's cool. We got a bit of biffing going off camera here. Uh, how's bro fitting in? He's fit. He remind you of someone when you look at him. A young JKS. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah he looks like JKS a lot. He get, gets that a bit. Similar roles, but he's fitting in. Yeah, I think he's fitting in good, you know, he's been under the organization before, you know, so he knows the people here, he's just didn't know us as players, I didn't know him personally either, but he's feeling really good in, both like in terms of the roles in game, you know, he's like the anchor, you know, and stuff like that, but also like social wise, we're having a really good time with him, so yeah, all, all is going good. Sweet, all right, well thank you for your time guys, I'll leave you to it, uh, good luck in the tournament, and we'll see you later, thanks boys. All right, hi guys, new episode of The Lobby, here we have the newest team on the circuit, Namiga, you see, this is how we do the lobby, guys. We're literally in the lobby. So who do I talk to here? Any volunteers? Yeah, volunteers? Hey, man, why don't you introduce yourself and a little bit of your team to us? Because yeah. I think a lot of people will be unfamiliar with you. Yeah. Hello, I'm Flamus. My name is Timur. I'm 19 years old. And here you can see my team, Namiga. We are uh, come here to beat everybody because we are the best and we're gonna kill everyone that we will see. I love it, man. I love the excitement. I don't know why some of your teammates are laughing over there. I don't think that's cool. I love the confidence. Um, yeah, so how has it been so far? Some teams have been uh, struggling with just making it to the tournament and stuff. So no dramas there for you, easy trip? There was no dramas, but it was like for us 20 hours. It was very bad trip for us. It was really uncomfortable, but we make it to here and now everything is fine. We're feeling great. It's the first uh, big tournament for you guys. You're a very young squad. So how has it been, you know, just adjusting to things like jet lag, traveling to another continent, all that stuff? Uh, personally, I didn't feel uh, jet lag. Maybe some of my team is ahead, but I wasn't. Who else can I talk to from your team? Uh, Khan? Um, yeah. Okay. You're the opera, right? Yes, I am. So who can you say that um, you have maybe a similar style to? Uh, I would say uh, back then I watched a lot of uh, demos of Brocky, maybe Brocky or Torzi from uh, Mouse. So I guess maybe from them I took a lot. Oh, that's nice. Some younger players there for inspiration. And no, well, I guess Brocky is kind of in that CIS um, envelope. But yeah, do you share the feelings of your teammates? You're just here to beat everyone? Of course. Do you guys feel confident? Yeah, we have, uh, we know our first opponent, uh, its face. So uh, we are very excited to play our first match. You're hoping you can surprise them, you know, they're coming from the major final. I'm pretty confident that uh, we're going to show ourselves at this tournament. All right. <laughs> all right, all right, I like it a lot. Who else is here? Who else can we talk to? It's fine, we're, we're doing it here, we're doing it here. Okay, let's go. Okay, what do you want to say? 
I don't know, just <laughs> you for Nimiga. Uh, we're gonna face uh, with face, and uh, we don't have any pressure. We're uh, confident in each other, and uh, it's gonna be interesting game, I guess. Do you like that that you're playing such a strong team straight uh, away? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just uh, first game for everyone in Tier One tournament, and uh, that's so interesting. Is it a team that you know maybe you guys have? watched you know obviously and you try to steal some things from them uh, that's so interesting you know this feeling that you watch these demos uh, you train for these uh, teams and you're facing in first game at your first tier one tournament it's incredible it's uh, such a good feelings did you guys uh, have some conversations about you know because obviously you're the underdog and they're this favorite to just come in and don't think about it yeah, we don't think about any game for the close qualifier or something like that. We're just playing game by game and uh, we don't think about uh, all result. We just uh, think about this game right now. So there's no sort of expectations, there's no plans, you just come here, play? Just uh, plan, uh, win game by game. That's all. All right, man, that's great. I love it. Namiga just got a new fan today. Good luck, guys. All right, I'm uh, here with Sonic of Wildcard, the actual wildcard of the event. Now, mate, uh, what's the situation with the team? There's there's a lot going on. There's a lot of moving parts, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, uh, we got a bit of a last-minute call-up to come to China. Uh, it's a bit of a far flight for us uh, Americans, me, fake American. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have our full roster here. Um, one of our teammates fell ill. So we are playing with a sub, our coach. But um, yeah, we can hope for the best. We have been doing like a lot of prep. Just on our side there, we've looked good in, in scrims and some matches. And so it's a big opportunity, I think, for some of the guys to play a T1 event. It's a big opportunity for anyone. Um, and just hopefully we can make the best of what we have here. Just got awfully quiet in the room when we started talking. It seems, you know, is, is, there, a ser is there a serious vibe? What's the, what's the mood? Like, is the jet lag setting in yet? Because we love that excuse, don't we? Yeah, no, we do. Um, our jet lag is kind of good though. It's just a twelve-hour difference, so it's kind of like, hours. yeah, it's just a, it's just like a day flip, you know, eight in the morning to eight in the in the evening, you know. So uh, can kind of trick your body, not really, but maybe. What's going on with you, mate? Are you like you're studying, you're not playing, you're playing again. What's going on? Are you in that perpetual I can never leave Counter Strike mode? <laughs> yeah, um, I've tried multiple times, and it just seems like I keep getting roped back in. Uh, I'm full time studying. Um, I'm on my almost third year right now. I'm midway in my second year, so. That's going well, and I just kind of found that like I do have a bit of time for like Counter Strike, and it was nice with Wildcard because um, I'm in a bit of a unique situation where I'm with a team who doesn't have to spend all their time in Europe. You know, if I went and I I um, played for some of the top teams again, I would probably have to spend at least half my life in in Europe, which is kind of not a reality right now. So I, I like where we are in Wildcard. Um, it's a fun bunch of of people to be around, and it's a really good opportunity for some of NA's younger talent to come up and me um, being part of that ride for them, with them. And you're here and JT's not. Yeah, I am. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, anything we should look out for for your team in the server, if the people at home uh, you know, want to know who should we be watching from Wildcard? Yeah, um, definitely got all of them. Uh, Horvy, since he hasn't played this in a while, he's a good coach and he was a great player a while ago, so let's see if he still has it in him. Um, Obviously, Keller, since he's not um, so known on the international scene as an AWP yet, and I think he's a phenomenal AWP and probably America, one of America's best to come out. So I think he can really show something. Um, and MOTM, Ian, my old teammate, uh, I think he still has it in him. And obviously, old guy Stanislaw there, still a great leader, and I, I think he can lead us to some good results, even with our, our team not being at full power right now. You just had a lot of old there. That's the thing, Horvy being a coach, I think a lot of us like, what the, he was like playing just the other day, now he's coaching. So uh, what, what does he bring in a coaching capacity? Horvy brings um, definitely like a great perspective. I think the best coaches are definitely made from older players, um, just because they, they can keep up with the meta, they understand the game. Um, and Horvy has that sort of like Brazilian play style. And, and you've, you've noticed uh, Brazilians kind of on the rise again, uh, especially at the recent America's RMR, and they had some good showings at the major. Um, so he brings a lot of experience in that sense, and it, it kind of gives our team a different edge, like I think over the Americans. Like he, he pays a lot of attention to the Brazilian scene and their like gameplay styles, and previously he was on Ints, I think, a while ago. So, yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of knowledge of International Counter-Strike. Um, helps us out in that way. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you. All right. Another 
hometown hero team. Here we are with Lin Vision Gum, my friend. How are you? Good, very good here. How nice does it feel that you can just not travel for 15 hours <laughs> and be at a tournament? Uh, feels amazing. Yeah, very comfort, uh, comfort, comfortable here. And this is my hometown. And, uh, really? Our, yeah, and, and our boot camp is right here. So. Wow, so you're the, you're the person to go to for all the food tips and everything, restaurants and that stuff? Uh, like... Every player, they already like live here for one year, so they they know this. Does this uh, change your routine at the tournaments? You know, do you have more media obligations or something like that because it's in your hometown? Uh, yeah, I think we can rest uh, much better and take more time on um, practice. Yeah. So you know, obviously at the major, you already played Furia. That was your one yeah. win. Uh, how happy were you with your run, making it to the major and the performance there? Mm, yeah, I, I can say we are pretty happy, yeah. Uh, going up against Furia again, is that a comfortable matchup now that you've already played them? Or, you know, you're, they're going to prepare extra for you because they lost? How do you feel about that game? Not very sure about that. <laughs> yeah, we'll try our best. You guys have been together for a while now as a team. You know, we remember you from Pro League. Yes. We had a couple of uh, good wins, right? So how you, do you feel the team is progressing, you know? Um, the team, yeah, pro um, improved a lot through the, the, the last year. And uh, we went to EPO and the last time you see us is at the Major. So yeah, it's quite a, uh, quite a step we have made. <laughs> I'm assuming the goal is to get to the arena. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, this is my hometown and we are our Chinese team. And we really want to go to the playoffs. But we see the group, uh, like, it's very tough. Yeah, uh, like Maus, uh, like all the other tough teams. Yeah. Hey, you need to win your best of one. Tyloo needs to win their best of one. Yeah. And then it's two Chinese teams for a spot in the playoffs. Do you think that's possible? Uh, I think it's possible that both Chinese team, teams get eliminated <laughs> before the playoffs. But <laughs> we should try our best, right? All right. And tell hey, me, yeah. Yeah, sorry. we need to have hope. Tell me which player from your team is the most excited for this tournament. I think all of them are hyped up. All of them. All right. That's good. Well, that's it right. for Lane Vision. Thanks, Gum. I wish you all the best. I want to see you guys in the playoffs. I've heard like a lot of laughter and people having fun, and I'm here like to maybe ruin it a little bit. How are you doing, Kinder? Um, I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. You're okay, okay. Uh, are you enjoying your stay here in China so far? Oh, yeah. I actually, this is my first time to China. I think uh, Faye, you're as well first yeah. time. And Keith, Keith, have you been to China? Okay, so it's me and Faye's first time, and it's actually crazy to see how like uh, how many like supporters there are like outside oh, wow. uh, outside of the yeah hotel. I went uh, I went down there a couple of times just to like kind of I don't know. I feel like because this is my first time, I want to like share uh, share this energy with them, mm -hmm. and uh, it's super cool, super cool. The hotel is nice, the place is nice. I expected maybe a little bit more kind of. A little bit more crowded city, mm -hmm. but the city feels amazing. I think you just you have not been in the center because we're kind of like in the south. I've been in the center. There's a lot of people, like a lot. So you just need to get there. I mean, if you manage to get through the fans. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't think I'm gonna. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna be able to. <laughs> not gonna lie. I mean, I think okay. Uh, I should probably like maybe ask you so if we can like maybe get like glasses, some like wigs to dress. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, discuss you like sneak you out so at least you can get to see the city a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's super possible and it would be really dope. I think Faye doesn't need the disguise. <laughs> no, okay. I'm just, I'm just, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, wait, give me a second. I'm not trying to cause any drama, but uh, do you have anything uh, to say to that? Uh, nothing to add. <laughs> I'm okay. We're not going to cause drama. But this is your first time in China, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Did you get to see anything outside like, of the hotel? Um, not yet. I walked to the mall nearby mm -hmm. here. 
but I am actually like curious about the Panda Place. I've been to the Panda Place, it's yeah. amazing. The only thing is like, it takes a bit of time to get there mm -hmm. and during the day there's like a, like a traffic jam and stuff like that and you need to go there super early and there's gonna be like a lot of people, but it's really cool. Okay, that's nice. I've never so, seen Panda before. What? You're from Brazil, bro. Panda? Yeah. What, kind of, what kind of Brazil? I, uh, what? Okay, okay, because I was, I was like, we're yeah, gonna have okay. some geography lessons yeah, in right. there. I mean, right. but yeah, uh, I'm also curious just to the city. Mm -hmm. I mean, as I said, like maybe we, we can invest like in those wigs, like a taxi, like just to drive you through. Actually, in the center, okay, I should have like told like you can this because in the center there's a lot of cosplayers, like a lot. I've I've seen more cosplayers in two days than in two weeks of being in Tokyo. How is this even possible? I don't know. Are you into anime? Not really. Uh, oh, I guess I guess I can advertise that to you. Can yeah, really. I mean, he's really being into anime. Yeah. yeah. yeah? You share your tattoos? Your new ones? Yeah. yeah? You share your tattoos? You want to show them to the camera? Oh, Cameraman? Show your belly button tattoo. Nah, that's top secret, man. <laughs> it's only for team. All right, all right. I can't let, like, bully, like, too much, but about you? How is your stay here in China? So far, so good. A little sleepy. All good. How's the jet lag? I don't know. I traveled 37 hours. I'm still not asleep. 30, 37? Yeah, Brazil's pretty far from China. And apparently we go full right. <laughs> oh, so like you went like, how did it go? Like, did you go like for those? I go like for like the Europe and Asia and then? Yeah, Doha. Yeah. Stayed there, chilled. Came to China. Chilled a bit. Came to China again. 37. Okay, that's a lot. I mean, in all honesty, I mean, the guys like, uh, I want to say Greyhound. It's, now it's X Greyhound, like FlyQuest. It's one of the first tournaments where they actually get to play where there's like barely any jet lag, so I guess that kind of can advantage for them. But you think you'll be able to battle it? Yeah, we'll be fine with the jet lag. We'll adapt pretty easily. Jet lag, yeah. Our manager says jet lag doesn't exist, but he's napping like every hour and a half. What do you think about that? I think that's that's wishful thinking. That's denial. It's like living in denial. No, he says there's no jet lag for us, but for him it's fine. He put you like under the bus. Explain me, like, what? Why is jet lag not a thing? Uh, it just kind of became a meme because Merrick said it didn't exist for a long time, and uh, yeah, that's just kind of how it is. It's all in your head. It's in your head. I mean, you know how they say it, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. What about you, boys? I'm gonna stand like here, like real quick, so I can do it right, right away. Are you feeling that? Feeling good. Feeling pretty tired though, but hey, uh, well. It's like but it's not because of the chat lag. No, just bad sleep. Doesn't involve chat lag. No. <laughs> and how about you? Yeah, yeah, feeling, feeling good. Yeah, good. yeah. You're not jet lag? No, I. In fact, I just napped for thirty minutes for a mindfulness. <laughs> yeah. Is that like some kind of like running meme mindfulness? No, just now. <laughs> just now. <laughs> We're creating the memes right now. <laughs> Like whatever happens, like on the server, is like uh, mindfulness. Yeah, maybe I can say that now. Yeah, this whole yeah. Is it a misplay? No, no, mindfulness. That's gonna be the what happens afterwards if I have to rage. I mean, hopefully that's not gonna happen. Uh, have wait, you've been to China before, right? Yes. How many times? One. So your second time. Yeah. What was the first city? Sure. I'm like interviewing Brokey. I don't know, like Shanghai. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> If you can, if you compare Shanghai to Chengdu, which one is better? I like Chengdu more. Why? It's more green. Air quality is very good. Um, they have not seen the pandas yet. No, no pandas yet. But it's on the to-do list. Yeah. All right, all right. You didn't seem like you 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 really giving me like that broken impression. Like so, I don't know. No, no. He he doesn't have jet lag. Jet lag is not a thing. I, I said hello, to, Broki uh, said hello to me at breakfast. He was like, hello, sir. And I said, hello, sir, back. So maybe we exchange like energy. Maybe it's contagious. I don't know. Maybe. I hope not, because it's going to make my life like very hard. Are you going to do the same thing with the Broki? <coughs> uh, yes. All right. Thank you very much. This was Team Liquid. <laughs>